Hi students, continue with the relational algebra operate, operators. So in the previous video, I explained about the selection and projection. Now let us see the next operator that is the union. So what is the use of union? It includes all tuples, means all rows that are in relation R. Sorry. That are in relation R, means the table R. Or in S means we are taking two tables R and S because we have to combine the tuples, uh, combine the rows uh, in one or more tables, two or more tables. So it includes all tuples that are in R or in S and eliminates and eliminate, let me write eliminating duplicate tuples. So whatever the duplicate tuples that are present that eliminates. Therefore, set R union set S would be expressed as, okay. So, finally, the therefore, the set R means the table R union set S would be expressed as, just result, you will get R union S. So, R is one relation and S is one relation. It combines the two, two uh, tuples that are present in R and S by eliminating the duplicate rows. Okay. So, this can also be you can express as R union S is equal to T is nothing but the tuples. You have to select the tuples. So, that T belongs to R or T belongs to S. So, this is the expression. Let me take one example for this example okay so let's take pi author books union pi author articles so what it means so i said here whatever you have written this is the attributes attribute of that uh, relation so here the books is one table okay and articles is another table. So, just like R and S, article. So, this is R and this is S. So, R union S. So, I want to select the tuples that are, uh, so, pi author books and pi author articles. So, author is one attribute in books. Again, author is another attribute in articles. So, I have to select these rows that are present in the books as well as in articles. So, the output for this is you will get it projects the names of author uh, who have either either written books who have either written books or an articles or both so that is the output for this expression let me take one more example then you will understand clearly what is the output you will get for this uh, union let me take our union yes so example let let's take r is one table it consisting of the fields uh, a b d f and e 1 2 3 4 5 let's take another table s A, C, D, E. So, when you are combining the two tables, okay, uh, it has to eliminate the duplicates. Now, let us do the R union S. So, what is our table for R union S? So, it takes A. In this table, you are having A11 and A11. So, just take only one A1. A1. And next, B. So, here B2 is there. And here you are having C2. And here you are having D3. 
so in the table this table also d3 is there only write only one uh, d3 you have to be right because eliminating the duplicates and next f f uh, 4 is there and here e4 and again here e5 so this is the output for this r union yes thank you